Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, I've not been posting as recently or doing as much work recently. Uh, I've had a lot of things going on in the background um, that's kind of kept me away from the garage that I've needed to prioritise. So apologies for not having regular updates for you guys. Um, November, going into December, um, it's always busy for me, the build up to Christmas. Christmas? If I'm allowed to say that in November. Yeah, it, it's busy, so I will get as much work done to Eleanor as I can and I'll bring you updates as regular as I can but they won't be as regular as they have been throughout the rest of the year so again apologies for that. Uh, I do try to share as much as I can with you guys for feedback and just to keep you up to date with everything that's going so bear with me. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap up the, the floor build. It's kind of went on quite a while and I, I'm aware I don't want to go into too much detail to make the videos boring, but I want to try and cover stuff that will help someone doing the same process. So it's just finding that balance that's going to be entertaining, interesting and beneficial um, without putting people off or you know, being boring. So what I left you last time was the brackets, the bump stop bracket and the rear seat belt support bracket. So. This was sitting in place. Here. I had to order one of these. That's where I left you last. I did order one of these. A heritage panel. To sit like this. And when I test fitted today. Test like that. I quickly realised I'd ordered the right hand side and not the left hand side <laughs> and these are sided so this on the right hand side slopes up this way like this and it's the other side I need so I was quite disappointed because I was hoping to get that fitted in place first welded and then all that left was the floor to, to go on because this bit up here it's solid uh, along with this so as it stands now I'm leaving this once I tidy this bit up a bit I might change my mind because I have got that part there but we'll see don't have to decide that today and <clears throat> I've got free time today so I didn't want to waste it so what I decided to do was spin this round and test fit the floor so basically set it in place see how it fits see how it lines up also need to mark all the points on the floor that need the paint taken off and need the zinc primer, weld through primer, put on them. So by putting it upside down, getting it in place, getting it marked out, I then know where I can do that. I can get the floor prepped, get the new part ordered and then it'll all fall into place, hopefully for uh, the next time I'll get a chance to work on it. So that's the plans today. I'm going to get this floor on nervously to see how it's fitting. So let's get this uh, shell spun round. lot of stuff to replace but all the stuff that can be attached is getting prepared for it. This, um, we get a better look at here. I'm still undecided with this but that's another day. Let's um, let's get this boot floor offered up. Let's see what, what it looks like. So I've ordered various nuts and bolts self tap and drilling screws and self tap and drilling bolts to help me hold it all in place. I've got some guide holes at the back on the rear panel. Obviously the two bolts here, two bolts here for the bracket to the rear wheel arch. Then the plan with 
the self drill and self tapping ones will come in to the bottom of the back seat um, and under here top of the heel board will be the self tapper self drillers I'll play about with them see which ones I prefer and let you know but that's the plan for getting it held in place I can get it held in get it marked once I know it fits well if I need any adjustments I'll do them if not then that's when I can look at welding the parts on that are going to be permanent and then working around the parts that are needing replaced for example the rear arches right it's an awkward panel to lift so I've got my little helper on look at this look <laughs> you're going to overtake me soon it's been that way else since it's been on camera this is um, a bit dusty on roughly. I've tightened these down not super super tight but with a spanner so tighter than hand tight. Some bits I'm happy with, some I'm not. For a first fit, um, yeah seems okay. This side here, the lines are quite good. Obviously they're never going to be perfect and there's new arch to go in here so that will get fettled. But these lines here are nice. Lines up here, very good fit. Still a gap here because it's not been fitted on the, the floor side yet. This, I'll take a pinch of salt how much this is lined up because this was all replaced by the previous keeper very poorly I have to add. So this side here was where caused a few issues. So this bit here wasn't far enough back, you can see this was pulling that way a bit and what was happening is you can see most of it slightly just off some of it here lines up but this is the bit that was concerning when you get to this bit here this should be very minimal gap here all the way along but as you can see you've got roughly between a 5 and 10 mil gap and it comes off at an angle so it's not straight so I think if I can get this fitting a bit better here pull this pulled this way slightly it'll, it'll amend that so it's something I just have to play about with and get right before I then mark up to see where I have to drill holes and take paint off and things so that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to go away have a play about with it take my time because there's no rush yeah, there is concerns. There's concerns that because this side of the floor is only bolted on, that was never finished, as I changed my mind the way I was going with it, that that's maybe moved. Or it's not where it should be, or there's concerns that <clears throat> the jig is not offering enough support and twisting because of the type of jig it is, regardless of all the bracing. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to need to go for it and... and um, 
get all the fitment issues sorted. So what I'll do is I'll get this lined up a bit better. I do have, or should I say I've acquired a second hand rear subframe so that I can line up, check for measurements there because that's quite important. And I'll go from there. So yeah, I'm basically going to go off camera, have a play, and I'll come back and let you know if I've managed to get anywhere more with it. What I am going to do as well, just offer a bit of support underneath. Because there's none there at the moment. If I can take um, some of the weight off the floor on the roof, it just stops the the um, the jig bending in the middle or it takes away any strain on it. So any extra support I can give, I will. Right, I'll go and do my stuff and I'll come back to you. Right, second attempt, 10 minutes later. I've got a few clamps on this time. Some of the lines are lined up really good. The wheel arches are a lot better, clamped in. This sits where it should be. This is slightly better here. The back, fitting very nice. This bit isn't, but again, that could be to do with this previous repair panel, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, this arch was quite damaged here, so it's hard to judge. This arch looks like some kind of filler that's been put on, so it made it quite difficult to get this bit pushed forward a bit, which I think was what was causing the problems earlier on. But anyway, the lines are sitting a bit better now. That's to go down a bit. And then if we can see along here, it's a bit straighter. What I still need to do is to get the car flipped around the other way and I need to get it secured from the top so that we've not got any gap here. That's tight. And so that the seats are pulled tight. You can see there's quite a gap here at the moment. Nice in the middle but the sides need pulled down a bit. So I need to get all that pulled tight and then once all that's pulled tight I can get marked up, check fitments with subframes etc. But that's a good point to stop there for this video at least. So I'll end that one there, keep you in suspense, keep myself in suspense and uh, I'll say thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!